I made a Christmas this or that for y'all. I hope y'all will do it and pass it on and challenge other people to do it because I think it'll be fun. So it's 15 questions. All right, you ready? Colored lights or white lights? I prefer white lights, but we have, a, we have this fake tree that uh, has lights on it and it's got this little thing where you can do blinking white, bl straight white, blinking colored, straight colored. And then we have this one setting that you can do that's a kind of a compromise. It goes colored then it fades to white and then it fades to colored again. So it's, it goes back and forth between colored and white because that way everybody gets what they want. <laughs> fresh or artificial tree? Um, I've had an artificial tree for a long time. I like fresh trees. I mean, the smell of them and everything, but they're kind of a pain to, you know, get needles everywhere and all that. And it's just easier and cheaper in the long run to have an artificial tree. Ham or turkey? We actually, the last, I, I used to all my life had ham for Christmas, but the last few years we've been getting ribeyes and grilling ribeyes. Kind of a weird thing for Christmas, but that's what we've been doing. But I'll probably buy a ham because they go down really in price around Christmas. So I'll probably, probably buy a ham and throw it in the freezer. And until I moved to the South, I had never heard of this. I always baked my ham. But here in the South, they boil them. And I thought that would be terrible. But it makes it really moist. It's really good, surprisingly. you just And you can do it all day long if you, if you need to. You know, if you're busy and all that, and you just throw it in there, the big old pot of water, and boil it for two to ten hours, just whatever, and, it, and it's really good, surprisingly. Frosted sugar cookies or gingerbread men? Mm, that's a tough one. I can't have either one anymore because my gluten issues, but my favorite cookies, frosted sugar cookies. I usually make one or the other of both of these with the grandkids every year. One year I was able to make them with all four grandkids. They, two of them were, I was taking care of two of them and then went over to visit the other two and we made Christmas cookies and decorated and everything with all four grandkids and that was a lot of fun. But we usually decorate cookies every year. Um, outdoor lights or icicle lights? I mean like the string of lights or the kind that do that. <laughs> I didn't know what else to call them. We don't do either one. We're so far from the road nobody can see it anyway. We're probably close to a quarter mile from the road so you really can't hardly see our house anyway so our next door neighbor just moved in this year his business is he's one of those companies that makes those like he decorate a mall with a giant tree on top and all that so you expect his house to be crazy nice I bet I bet he doesn't have time to do anything because it's his business busiest time of year. <laughs> so I'm waiting to see if he is able to do anything on his own house. Probably not because he's so busy doing like stores and malls and stuff like that. Um, do you use bags for your presents or do you wrap them? I mostly wrap them. Once in a while I'll use a bag, but I prefer to wrap them. Uh, Christmas letter or just a card? I've done both. I prefer it because a lot of these, most of the people I send cards to, other than I might send some to you. If you send me your address, I'll send you a card. <laughs> some of your addresses I have from collabs and stuff. Um, I like to send a letter because, at least to the people that are far away that I haven't seen in years and years. Like I have some friends out in California when I used to live there, but I haven't lived there in like 23 years. So I haven't seen these people in a really long time. So I like to send a letter just to, you know, catch them up on what's going on in my life and hopefully get one back from what's going on in their life. There's one girl I correspond with. We were couples stationed, our husbands were stationed together in Japan, like 68 to 72. So that's what, almost 50, 60 years ago, a long time ago, <laughs> and uh, we still correspond. I mean, she got divorced, I got divorced, but the two of us still keep in touch. <laughs> um, travel or stay at home? Usually stay at home. My family usually goes skiing, like 
they're going to, well, they're hoping to go skiing this year, but it depends on whether the ski resorts close. They're, they're scheduled to go skiing this year, but may or may not happen. They like to go skiing in Nevada. Is it Nevada? I think it's Nevada. Anyway, so they usually go skiing, but they may or may not be able to, depend on whether the ski resorts close because of COVID. But I usually stay home, unless I go, like, I might go to my other son's house, which is the one I just went and saw, and that's like 100 miles away, but that's not really traveling. I mean, you could go back and forth in a day, so I don't, I don't count that as traveling. Um, where are we? This is number nine. Peppermint scent or pine scent? Mm -hmm. Depends on what it's for. I like pine scent in the living room so you can pretend you have a real tree. <laughs> I like, I'm not even really a peppermint scent so much as, um, I like, like cinnamon apple and gingerbread and those kinds of scents. Got another phone call. At least now they, I don't know about your phone, but mine tells me it's a spam risk and I just hang up on them. Don't even answer. But it keeps kicking you guys out and I gotta start over. Where were we? We were on present opening presents. Oh my iPad's running out too. I've been doing this for oh, what less than ten minutes. My iPad was at twenty five percent, now it's at ten percent. I have a new one on order, but it hasn't got here yet. So hopefully I don't run out before we run out of <laughs> questions. <laughs> Um, open presents Christmas Eve or Christmas Day and I know some people that they open one present on Christmas Eve and it's like pajamas or something. We open on Christmas Day. I've always opened on Christmas Day. Uh, new Christmas pajamas or ugly Christmas sweater? Um, I like both. I, I like sweaters. I, in fact, I don't think I, oh, I think I do have a, I have a couple Christmas sweatshirts but I don't think I have any Christmas sweaters and I don't wear sweatshirts much anymore. So I'll have to look for an ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> fudge or chocolate covered cherries when I was a kid we used to always get because it was like a dollar a box we'd always get my dad chocolate covered cherries every year for Christmas because it's something as a kid we could afford but I prefer fudge and if you've watched it I, I don't know if this is going to be before or after I have a video where I make fudge it's a collab for Christmas treats but depending on when I put this up you may have already seen it or it may be coming up <laughs> Open presents first or breakfast first? When the kids were little, there's no way you can have breakfast first. Now, they're teenagers, you can hold them off and eat breakfast first and open after breakfast. But little kids, you know, they're 5 o'clock in the morning, they're up and want to, want to open their Santa presents. Um, do you alternate opening presents or is it like a free-for-all, everybody opens at once? We go in a circle, oldest or youngest to oldest, and each one opens and we all appreciate what they got before we open ours so we take our time and appreciate what we got and be thankful for it we just don't go <laughs> crazy <laughs> which we did a little more when the kids were little but now they're older we can take our time a little more uh, last question is stockings or advent calendar or both we do both I uh, used last year I gave my granddaughter a sock advent calendar they have them at Target for like 20 bucks and I think it's 15 days of socks <laughs> <laughs> She's a sock girl. She loves her socks. They have all different kinds of advent calendars. Uh, well, this thing's dying, but I finished the questions first. So <laughs> it's already down to 5%. It doesn't take any time at all for the battery to run out. I think the last straw for me was when it went from 100% to 0% in 7 minutes. And I was like, okay, I've got to buy a new iPad. Because I don't really have my laptops, an old piece of junk I've had like 13 years so it's I might as well just use it for a doorstop it just doesn't work anymore and so I went back and forth do I want a new laptop or do I want a new iPad and I use my iPad all the time but do I use my iPad because I don't have a laptop I don't know what should I do so I ended up buying the mid-range iPad not the cheapest one but not the super expensive one kind of the one in the middle and I had um, I haven't used it since I went on a cruise several years ago um, three years ago maybe I been my you know anything you charge you get a like 1% or 5% back or whatever depending on what it is 
I've been letting that accumulate, so I had like almost enough in there to buy the iPad, so I only had to pay a little bit out of my own pocket. Well, I mean, technically it was my pocket, but you know what I mean. That was like free money, so the iPad was mostly free. I think I had to pay a hundred bucks towards it, and the rest I already had. So it wasn't too bad. So please do this Christmas this or that. I think it'll be fun and do it on your channels and pass it on. Or if you don't have a channel, do it with your family and friends. I think it'll be a fun thing to do. If you like this kind of content or you like unboxings, which is mostly what I do. Um, well, I actually do a lot of stuff. I do cooking, crafts, unboxings, this or that, Mask Monday. I do lots of different things. So... If you enjoy that kind of content, please subscribe and hit the bell and join our happy little family. We'd love to have you. So I hope you all enjoyed this, 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 this or that. <laughs> so that fast five times. Uh, and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon.